Everyone sees the robots, but what you don't see is everything that holds it together. The invisible layer where the real transformation is happening. Automation looks easy from the outside. Install a few robots, connect some software, and suddenly efficiency skyrockets. But inside the factories of Europe, reality is way messier. We have different kinds of AGVs, more or less 200. We are not able to communicate between different vendors or different routes. This is the real bottleneck. Not a lack of machines, but lack of connection, integration, synchronization, orchestration. That's the frontier of automation today. Every supplier has its own software and its own programming language. This makes it very complicated because for each of these components, you need an expert. And these experts today are already hard to get. Companies are trying to merge IT and OT, bridging the world of software and machines. But behind every automation project, there is something even harder than technology, people. If you cannot measure, you cannot improve. Fear is the most important uh, stopper. Everything has to do with, with the know-how of the people. Technology doesn't replace experience, it amplifies it. And that human knowledge, the tacit understanding of flow, timing and precision, is what automation still depends on. Across Europe, that transformation is already underway. At Met24, robots deliver medical supplies day and night, yet operations never stop during installation. We needed to have a solution that could be flexible for us, so we can expand as the business grow. At Nisbets in the UK, an entire order fulfillment center doubled its throughput, not by adding more people, but by connecting the dots. Now we're able to pick double the amount of lines per hour per colleague. That's what orchestration looks like when it works, and automotive companies are already thinking ahead. Start with the centralization of the systems. Prepare your robots to talk with the same protocol. This is the new architecture of logistics. Flexible, standardized, transparent, where data moves freely and machines follow suit. It's not built by one company, it's built by an ecosystem. A network of innovators solving the same invisible problem from different angles. Machines move boxes, people move systems. And between both, lives the invisible architecture that makes automation possible. We have been inside those factories. We have heard their challenges, their ideas, their fears. And we have seen how small decisions in software planning and human collaboration become the foundation of entire industries. This is not a story about robots. It's a story about how we design the world that moves them.